En franchissant le cercle polaire en plein été, nous sommes au pays du soleil de minuit, la Norvège du Nord. Susan Petersen, actuelle numéro 2 mondiale, est bien connue en Norvège et ses déplacements sur les parcours ne passent pas inaperçus. Aussi surprenant que cela puisse paraître, il existe un neuf trou sur les îles Lofoten et Suzanne s'implique actuellement particulièrement au développement du Lofoten Golf Links qui devrait s'étendre à 18 trous et disposer bientôt d'un hôtel. Alors Suzanne, comment concevez-vous votre rôle d'ambassadrice du golf, en particulier sur les îles Lofoten Well, uh, first of all, being Norwegian and being associated with a place like this is uh, um, quite an honor. Um, for me, it's uh, it's one of my favorite spots in Norway to come. Uh, this is my second time here, and uh, it's um, every time I leave with kind of mixed feelings that this um, I regret I haven't spent more time here, and that I would love to spend more time here. So it's a fantastic combination of me being able to be an ambassador for this place and kind of try and deliver this message to the rest of the world and show them uh, the beauty that we have here and obviously the spectacular golf course that has been built and now is kind of expanding to 18 holes and to see their ambitions for this place is something that it's very impressive um, it's not easy out here I mean it's not the easiest place to build a golf course and obviously not to build a hotel and bring a lot of tourism but they take on a great challenge and obviously with the, the hotel being built and possibly a, a bigger airport it will give the world a easier access to this beautiful spot. Ce n'est donc pas uniquement un projet à court terme. No, for sure. I mean, this is, I mean, to build up uh, a new golf course, to build up a name and to build up kind of Uh, the venue, it takes a while. I mean, it's nice to have a long-term relationship um, and uh, I mean, I'm only 32, so I mean, I got pretty much the future ahead of me, so uh, it's nice to have same goals and kind of be driven by the same um, uh, values. Suzanne, comment définissez-vous votre pays, la Norvège Que pouvez-vous nous en dire pour que les gens aient envie de venir ici well, I mean, I must say I'm, I feel very proud to say that I'm Norwegian. I'm, uh, I would say I'm very fortunate and lucky that I was brought up uh, in a country like Norway. I mean, it's, it's a fantastic place to, um, to grow up and the values, the nature. Um, there's so many things about Norway that I, I love and the more I travel, the more I miss it because I see the, the difference between Uh, rest of the world and stuff and uh, places and uh, values we have here in Norway is fairly small country but still so big. Uh, I've only seen a small part of it and uh, the more I get to kind of explore it myself the more I fall, um, fall in love with it and for me to be able to share that love with the rest of the world Uh, to my fellow competitors that I try to bring to Norway to kind of try and show them and at least bring golf more on the map uh, to the rest of the world It means a lot to me and it's nice to get the support and uh, um, this is definitely a place where I would love to kind of spend the last half of my life. I would like to come back to where I kind of was born and raised. Sur les Lofoten, les possibilités d'hébergement ne manquent pas, en particulier dans des maisons de pêcheurs particulièrement chaleureuses, donnant directement sur le port. Comme partout en Norvège, les activités ne manquent pas. Le kayak par exemple, comme ici en plein jour et il est plus de 23 heures. Ou encore une petite virée en speedboat pour explorer un fjord à près de 70 km h Impressionnant. Les Norvégiens sont particulièrement proches de la nature et ils se feront un plaisir de vous en faire découvrir toutes les richesses. Pour les passionnés de golf et de nature, l'expérience du soleil de minuit aux îles Lofoten est tout simplement extraordinaire.